Hey guys, this is Jay Blue coming to another video and uh, today I want to show you guys this uh, Toshiba M780 Protege laptop tablet. Um, now I just want to tell you guys a little about it and what I did to it. So basically um, from my original Toughbook video and the Windows 7 upgrades, um, as the time has been going by I decided to part with my Toughbook, uh, the CF18 and I found this laptop for 150 bucks um, and it's a uh, like I said, M780 uh, Toshiba Protege. Uh, I had it for some quite some time and basically replaced my uh, CF18 with it. And uh, I just did a little bit of work on it. Like I custom kind of that thing on there, painted the paint scheme that you see. It did have the uh, Windows 7 theme with the Umbrella Corp on it, but like I said, it was time to upgrade. And so I did a read up on this and um, I noticed you guys are mentioning, so hold on, let me just do a run out. Uh, I did put an SSD exactly like this in there. 120 gig uh, X Star SATA 3 SSD. Uh, there is an expansion of 360 gigs, I believe, in this drive. It's a spinner, though. Um, for the actual DVD burner right there, as you can see, so it's almost like a caddy. It's, uh, I believe, a mini SATA um, link, just right there, as you can see. Um, so there is the eight gigs in here. Um, I maxed it out. It's one of those i5s. I believe the 560M. 570M uh, i5 though you can get them in i7s um, and as you can see I had little stickers and uh, I covered the fingerprint reader because I never really needed it but as you guys notice I am running 10 on it with 8 gigs um, okay so what I've noticed um, there's no backlight keyboard that I can basically get to replace this but it's okay I'm fine with that um, now the style okay so when you format this to the drivers Drivers SP1 and IE11 have to be in here on 7 and then when you do the upgrade so you can see that my stylus is kind of just right and a lot of you guys will lose the touch features um, with the Wacom driver um, and I was able to enable it let me just see if I can so you can see that see a lot of you guys lose that effect um, what you're going to go do is basically go to the File Explorer here and go to the, I believe this PC and properties. And when you get there, you're going to go to the device manager. Okay, and what's going to happen is um, you're going to go to, I believe it's human uh, interface device and the pen dual touch driver. So, Wacom touch dual driver, you're going to take the driver and update driver I believe you're gonna browse the computer let me choose from a list and it will be the version that sorry let it focus in anyways it's the 3.112 not the older one the newer one um, so that's what you're gonna use to basically enable the dual touch it will have to say dual touch of the newest driver that's what you're gonna do to get the touch going again minus the stylus the digitizer stylus so um yeah I basically upgraded this and I've been using this as a replacement for my tough book from back in the day um, I was able to upgrade it in Windows 10 quite fairly fairly easy it, it's not as as everyone's saying where there's a lot of bugs and whatever all you have to do is a fresh format no edits on oh sorry guys no uh, edits on the OS and then you just straight upgrade to it as you can see I don't even have themes on it yet it's just the wallpapers kind of thing and just kind of use the way it is um, so yeah I hope you guys like it uh, that is the Toshiba M780 Protege laptop tablet I uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, this was I've had this for quite some time now, and it's uh, it's been very very reliable. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys showed you something, and to all you guys with a touch problem right there, uh, I hope this solves it for you. All right, uh, I hope you guys like it. See you guys later.